very important to get the right guy to play Lance Armstrong. Everyone's mentioned Ben Foster's name, basically, as being the guy who has that sort of intensity. Stephen looked at some of his work and said, he's the man. And what we didn't realize was what a good visual fit he was for Lance. The cycling, if you like, needs to be really convincing. And we had an advisor, a guy called Dave Miller, who's a British cyclist. He was very anxious that the cycling should be depicted in a way that was really real. You're talking about going and doing a sport and replicating an athlete. And that's something that is nigh on impossible because each athlete has their own style. It's been a lot of hard work for him especially to be Lance on the bike. And so it's a massive learning curve. The guy is an absolute beast. Seven times you win the Tour de France, seven times. People don't have an understanding of that. You, you go to the Alpe d'Huez and you look up. It's an impossible feat. He had to learn to pass as a professional and that's why you had to have David or other cyclists present to constantly advising him. He was starting literally from zero. He had to go from never riding a pro bike and then six weeks later be on camera being Lance Armstrong. He just worked very, very hard, had to lose weight, sort of deal with his body. I mean, he had to learn to pass a standard that was far beyond anything I could understand. It's daunting. I embedded with the Garmin team for about two weeks during the Cross Colorado tour. I had him come and spend, ended up being eight days with us in Colorado at the race and with my team learning about bike racing. And it just happened to be that a lot of the guys that were there were ex-teammates of Lance or had worked with him. And seeing his kind of commitment and, and his appreciation, I kind of had confidence in 100%. He looks very, very, very like the real Lance Armstrong. You can get virtually to a 90 degree shot on the real Lance Armstrong and cut to Ben and you don't know that it's not the same guy. Finding a posture that was representative of his signature was, was very important. We got his position set up on the bike so it would be as close to Lance as possible. His heels are slightly out and it's more of a, a duck pedal and he has an arch in his back and he, he shifts his hips underneath. He has a tick by pulling on his spandex and he's almost bird-like. He has no problem at all now. I mean, he did the couple scene himself in the wet, but you have to have balls to do that. As if you fall on couples, it really hurts. Yeah, it was high risk because it was wet and the cobblestones, even for pros, they're not easy. So to have Ben on them was high risk and, and he did remarkably well to kind of survive it. And you can't break, the moment you break, you're, you lock up and you slide and you fall. Oh, you're done. You hit the brakes, <laughs> done. You're broken. It was very much choreography. You kind of had to fix points in the road where somebody was going to attack. Lance is moving on the side, speaking to Basel. And then you had Danny Cohen, the cinematographer, wanted he'd want to do different shots using different vehicles. It could be a quad, it could be this big Dodge truck with like eight cameras on the back. We had the quad, they were doing a kind of a tracking shot with the quad in front, and then the quad kind of started breaking and it was wet. They hit the brakes. I just missed the truck, went onto a field, pulled off through the mud, back onto the road. So there were some situations where you said, you know, that's very dangerous. It was the perfect recipe for a disaster. I can't believe we got through two weeks with no crashes, which says a lot about the skill of the guys. We just ended up having a lovely bunch of 10 guys who are seasoned European campaigners, guys who were really bought into it and really wanted to be there. None of us had ever done it before. Every day I'm in awe of these racers. We had some easy shots. And we had some shots where we went flat out. We did kind of real bike racing in the movie. And action, action, action. Go Janto, go Janto. One of the reasons there's never been a major motion picture on professional cycling is because nobody's taken up the challenge before. They've, they've just started it and then realized, how can we do this? It kind of blows me away that it's pulling it off. What they say in cycling holds true in any art form or in life. It's just keep your head down and don't look back. <laughs>